if your Apple Macintosh computer starts to misbehave and you suspect that the issue is related to hardware rather than software, you can use Apple Diagnostics to help determine which hardware component might be the cause of the issue. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you run a diagnostic test on an Apple Macintosh computer that is running on Apple Silicon hardware. In order to place our Apple Macintosh computer into diagnostic mode, we first need to power down our computer. Now with our computer shut down, if we press and hold down the power button for roughly 20 seconds, or until our display shows us a message saying loading startup options, Eventually, we should be presented with the Startup Options screen. We now need to press and hold down both the Command and D keys on our keyboard until our screen goes blank and our computer reboots to place us in diagnostic mode. Unfortunately, we were not able to video capture the first screen of diagnostic mode that asks us to choose a language from a list. However, after choosing a language, the following diagnostic screen will be displayed. On the diagnostic page, we are presented with two options. If we choose Run Offline, Apple will not collect and use diagnostic information that is gathered from our test. However, if we select I Agree or press Enter on our keyboard, the diagnostic information gathered from this test will be automatically sent to Apple. For our example, we decided to select I agree. The diagnostic test will now start and a progress bar will be displayed as the computer's hardware is checked. This process will take roughly three to five minutes to complete. Apple Diagnostics will only check for internal hardware problems such as issues with the logic board, faulty memory or failed wireless components. The diagnostic test will not check non-Apple devices such as PCI cards or external hardware components such as USB or Thunderbolt devices. At the end of the diagnostic test, if an issue is found, that issue is summarized and we are provided with a reference code. So if we intend to try and fix the problem ourselves, by running a Google search on any reference codes that we see, we give ourselves a useful starting point when trying to resolve a hardware issue. Alternatively, if we have Apple Care or we decide to visit a Genius Bar, by providing the technician with any reference codes that the diagnostic test has reported, it may help to get our hardware problem resolved more quickly. However, as no hardware issues were found on our test, other than the fact that we had not connected a power adapter to our computer, to exit out of diagnostic mode, we can either switch off the computer or restart it.